Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Wonderful. Still neck deep in demos from the Steam Next Fest. Um, this boasts some board game vibes and I'm all about that. Name your adventure. Uh, every great story has an even greater name. What's yours? This will define your how your world is generated. Um, there you go. Begin your journey. Okay, days until demo ends. Three. Okay, interesting. This is your lantern, a crucial part of your journey. It is filled with ember. Ember is used up when traveling. Uh, if your lantern lantern goes out, your session ends. Click on the lantern to get your first tile. Let's talky more dewy. Okay. So we got a we got a tile. Materialized by the ominous ember of your lantern. This should help on your journey, but don't overdo it. Oh, I see. So we're like kind of tetrising ourselves around. Well, if I do this, then I get and gain access to all that other ember. Boop. Right? Uh, this gives us some new stuff. Snack kiosk. Uh, placeable on any ground, these machines expand your journey wherever it is necessary. You can place it with left click or transform into ember with right click. Or a ramp allows you to reach new heights. Make sure to turn it into the right direction before placing it. Okay, so we've got options here. We're already making choices. Interesting. Oh, I see. Every time we move a tile, we spend some ember. Um, whoa, we can turn the, uh, with just the mouse wheel, we can turn the whole thing around. You could make yourself really dizzy with that. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go check out this friendo over here. Expand your path, a warm home in the deep meadows. Sounds good. I want to go check out this friend, even though it's going to cost us quite a bit of lantern to get there. Um, what a sight. This high building expands your path quite a bit and lets you explore new areas. And we've gotten some more, um, ember. Quite a bit of new, uh, of more ember. So we've got kind of like, um, tile placement game, but it's like a reverse tile placement game. Shows its true potential when placed next to a farm. And then we have a farm. So we should probably just take a farm. And we can convert any of these into ember. Expand your journey wherever necessary. We could like place this here. This gives us points. I'm not really sure what the goal is yet. Okay, we've we've got um we can actually change your perspective really nicely. Um hmm. Well, I'm not really sure where to go. I'm not really sure where I'm trying to get to. Maybe I'm not trying to get anywhere. Maybe I'm try just trying to vibe, honestly. Can we, like, go to this kiosk? Will it offer us something? No, it's, it's just there. I feel like we're just trying to explore. There's another thing over there. Shows its true potential in place next to a farm. Let's, let's do that. So it's a plus sign on its own, but next to a farm, it's uh, quite robust. Let's make our way over there, because we got some nice ember last time we did this. What a sight. This high building expands your path quite a bit and lets you explore new areas. Over there. We got some mice. I don't know if we can do anything with those. I do really like the look of this game. It's got kind of like a stop motion thing going on. I don't know if that's actually on purpose, I will say. Oh, we can't build over here? I guess certain things are only good for certain paths. Can we get over there? Probably not, huh? I feel like I'm already... Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't convert for very much. Um, I feel like I'm gonna run out of ember. I'm not sure what happens when that happens. 
So we'll have to find out. We'll find out together. And in fact, I don't have any thing to place, so that's just going to be the end of our adventure. Uwe Rosenberg. So ends the tale. So that's that's kind of that. It tells us how many bonfires we found, um, how many tiles we uncovered, how many embers we got. Okay. Let's try again. Um... I wouldn't say it's lacking depth. I would say... Is this the same adventure? Oh, right. We could have gotten more tiles by clicking on that. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, lesson learned there. And then these will always give us tiles. Let's take a fuel... No, let's take a snack kiosk. That way we'll go and get another tile and also a bunch of ember. Definitely think the ramp is going to do well by us. We'll pick up, um, I don't know, I guess a field. If we can get a farmstead, it would be worth, worth it. Let's get another thing. Ember trail. Okay, that's actually a really good placement. We'll get some more tiles. Um, get a ramp, I guess, but I think actually that would be better in some ways. We can always convert these, but we, we know we only get, um, three per conversion. There's a farmstead. That's, that's, that's what I want. Okay. Let's, um, let's see if we can get up there. If I could get another, um, staircase then I could go up even higher. Can't get up much higher, but you know. Okay, let's do a farmstead and I want to maximize how much we uh, grow here. It's, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So what is this booster? Not very effective on its own. You will love what it does when it it is placed next to something else or flower patch. Expands your path a little. While small on its own, this piece is dependent on extra help to boost its viability. Kind of like this booster idea. We can't... Oh, we can place this on uh, in these fields. Well, let's see what these boosters do. Yeah, I mean, that sound, this seems really good. We are running out of ember, but we might make it to that campfire. Let's do this flower patch. Might let's convert our snack kiosk. This is this is good. And we're gonna go uh, to that campfire or uh, bonfire if you like. There's another one over there as well. We've got a tower. High building expands your path quite a bit and lets you explore new areas. This is a really good placement right here. Oh, we can also apparently place it next to boosters. I don't know why I would want to do that, but this is like perfect placement right here. Game kind of reminds me of a ver reverse version of like the Islanders trend. Oh, wait a minute. That camper dude is downstairs. That's okay. We can, we can work with that. We've got a staircase. Not very effective on its own. This high tech piece will make your flower patches explode in effectiveness. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's uh, put this staircase here. We're doing much better on this run. Uh, we've got another squareizer, but I kind of want this flower patch. So if I put this next to the staircase, will it work? No, I don't think so. I think we're going to need to place this flower patch. And then we place that there, and then this here. Oh my goodness. That was worth some good points there. So we could get a tower, or I think we should probably get another ramp. Just in case. We're keeping up with demands. We get another flower patch. Kind of don't want to go for that over there, because there's nothing else over there. So it's just going to spend a lot of ember. 
but I do see another bonfire. What is this? Fertilizer. Not very effective on its own. The nourishing qualities will boost your flower patch immensely. Okay, we do have a flower patch. Um, let's uh, do a big look. Okay, so we need another staircase in order to, for that bonfire to be viable. That's okay. We should be able to do that, maybe. Um, we got another fertilizer. I wonder if we could, like really make something work here. So this uh, just seems to extend the, the flower patch and not much else that's kind of disappointing. In some ways, it's the, the fertilizer is more useful on its own in this circumstance. I'm going to put this here. I want to rotate that. Okay, perfect. The... the, the Controls are actually pretty intuitive, I gotta say. Except for maybe the rotate on the mouse wheel. I'm not saying it's not intuitive, but it is a little bit nauseating if you're if you're not expecting it. Okay, um let's throw that down there. Get some more ember here. Another flower patch could be really useful. Oh, was there a ramp? I should have taken the ramp. That would have been smart. Still not getting a ramp. Um, this is concerning. There's another bonfire over there, but it's a long way away. Don't know if we're going to make it. Kind of want to... If I could, like, place this, like, here? Or... I guess it can only go on the flower fields, can it? That's such a bummer. If I could, like, place it right where that ember is, then I could really make it worth it. Okay, let's do, like, this and put a fertilizer on it. I, if I can... I don't know. This is, this is... I'm gonna be cutting it real close here. Yeah, I was... I really needed a staircase. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I can do this, and I can go and grab that ember, but I honestly don't know if grabbing that ember is going to be worth it. But I, I think I have to, because I, I don't think I have enough resources any other way. There's our staircase. Okay, I'm going to grab the farmstead and then convert it. And maybe I have enough? I don't think I do. One. Ah, I was so close. Well, this is uh, this is pretty interesting, I gotta say. I'm liking this. I might do one more run. I lasted two days. So yeah, it's it's kind of it's like a tile placement game, but you you're trying to get as far as possible. It's like the opposite of a tile placement game in real life, because like in real life, you really want to stay away from the edge of the table. Okay, this'll this'll be good. We can go over there again. We'll get that ramp. Um We'll take the snack kiosk. And we'll take the farmstead. We'll go get the spawn fire. And I'm gonna go north. I don't know if I've been that direction. I might have been. Grab the tower farmstead i feel like since this is the same run again like i'm starting i am getting used to what it has to offer me kind of want to see like how can you can you go into the ocean this like sea or shore we can do this field and now we can place a farm yeah, I mean, there's some really cool... There, there is some pretty cool strategy in this game. Like, we could place this farm here. And then put a farmstead next to it. And that way, we cover the most ground. And now we can walk all the way to that bonfire. I really hope that we get a ramp, though. Because otherwise, I'm not gonna... I wouldn't mind getting down to the shore. Kind of want to see if that's possible. 
Can we? Yeah, we can do that. So why don't we go ahead and let's check out the shore since I've checked out like everywhere else. I'm not uh, ignorant to the fact that like you don't. We probably don't want to move too much. I, I'm, I'm guessing the shore you need. You can't just walk in the water. Perfect if you change your mind and want to explore a different direction. A relict of the commons. So this allows us to um, travel on the water. So let's go there and then try and get to that other bonfire. Get the tower. I'm assuming... Yeah, that's going to give us... Oh, that that's kind of a bummer. We can j that the ember is like really badly placed for us. I feel like that is semi on purpose. I feel like that wasted a little bit of our uh, energy. Let's grab this turn, and if yeah, okay, that's actually amazing, amazing placement right there. We can grab a tower. Um, kind of am content just kind of going in this direction, but I wouldn't mind getting a ramp because the ramps offer a lot of flexibility we'll get a lodge expands your path these housings are typical for the commons and then we got another lodge feel it feels like the lodges are just like better versions of other tiles I don't know if like maybe our dude walks in an unoptimal way for those who only have one direction forward an old station of the commons does that have a staircase at the end can i like put that at the edge of something and then that'll like offer us elevation something tells me that's not gonna work This only, you can, I can only seem to build this on shore. So I'm going to need to go and grab that ember. We do have a, a ramp. Oh, there's another lad there. Hmm. Could we do like this? Yes. We could do this and then put the staircase there. And then go to the bonfire. We're cutting it kind of close, but this is working out. Um, we've got another ramp, but I don't really want a ramp. I want to want a tower Okay, we'll have to try and get that other ember. It's really worth getting the other embers. Oh, there's a bonfire over there could We I don't think there's any way we can make it over there If we had a farm we could probably do it I could take the field and then chants like the clicking on the lantern, but I don't think I like that. Can't really see what's going on to our left. There is a bonfire to our left, but we're going to need a ramp. You really just got to like kind of play things by ear so we've got fertilizer we do have a ramp um we're cutting things really close i had to click the the lantern um oh geez oh, okay actually we're i think we're okay if i put this here uh the ramp actually counts as a space so we can go there we're cutting it close we should be good we should be able to reach that bonfire at the very least Oh, but this bonfire doesn't have... There's nothing else up here. Oh, we could get another ramp, sure. And that's going to give us a little bit of breathing room. We'll go down. Yeah, I mean, that, that has bought us some breathing room. And we'll work towards that other ember. Let's um, make plans for our next... Yeah, there's a bonfire over there. There's also one south. So if we got really lucky and got a booster for this flower path we might be able to make it all the way yeah the fertilizer perfect so we'll use it on this it only boosts it one i guess 
but that's okay. We only kind of need that. And we got another flower patch. Perfect. This kind of works really well. What's happening? And so ends the tale. Was that, or was that day three? Wow, okay. I guess I made it. Okay. Um, cute game. I, I don't know uh, what more there's going to be, but it's it's interesting. It's kind of a very, very cozy, casual adventure game with tile placement. Um, it does have some strategy, but I feel like the strategy is very much just kind of like, you know, pl making plans from tile to tile and not really like anything overarching. It, it does kind of feel like a um, uh, Das Romantic, what do you call it? I think that's what it's called. Doff romantic it feels like a doff romantic like an islanders um but with a maybe a bit more short-term strategy i kind of wouldn't mind seeing like a overview of the full adventure we made uh maybe a little bit of little little tiny bit of story just to you know like it doesn't even have to be events like i know events are are kind of annoying or or very played out but if it could be like you know uh, if you traveled a certain amount of time, it'll just say like, and then you encountered a small snail and the snail said hello and something like that, you know, like um, just to add a little bit of extra charm and actually make you feel like you are on some kind of adventure um, since they are hitting that theme. But either way, I, I think this is really cool and I'd like to see more of it. I'll be interested to see uh, what the 1.0 of this game looks like. This is wonderful if um, you have this definitely let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if you like this video definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this we'll see see you guys next time take it easy